Okay, good morning and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And I've been outside now for a couple of hours. I need to get in there and weed, but I had to wait till it dries out a little bit. Got watered this morning. Um, I'm gonna take you out. I'm building a new raised bed. And um, I decided to go out further out back since I have water for in the summertime and these are summer beds anyway summer and fall here's the start and I'm doing it in between the two cherry bushes and behind this lettuce and kale bed um, so I, I thought you know that's a nice big bed I'm gonna go up one more layer I think I have enough um, bricks or blocks uh, taking away from where they're bordered there at the chicken coop they I don't need them anymore over there and they're not really doing the job that they originally were doing they've gotten pushed away from the fence anyhow the hardest ones are back there on the other side of the coop some of them are really stuck in there I'll have to have Michael's help with the crowbar or something and yeah we're getting busy it's a lot of work though <laughs> they're heavy I remember when I did the the ring around this tree it was a lot of work and now I've got one more layer to go and then I'll go get garden soil and comp well I've got manure so I don't need that um, I'll have garden soil I'll put down some cardboard on the bottom and mainly it's to help keep the the weeds down but it also um, attracts the worms and decomposes and uh, gets the microorganisms going. I did plant some ruffled lettuce uh, this morning in the empty spots here in the bed. I just pulled back my wire and a lot of you have been asking what seeds are you using? These are uh, Franke and the, the label, the top of the label is well, you can see, um, it's all in, um, there we go, Franchi. It is all in Italian, so, but this is a beautiful lettuce. I grew it last year. And there's still hundreds and hundreds of seeds here at the bottom of the package is full. And, they're, you know, they're tiny. But anyway, I haven't had any bird issues, so I think we're good to go as far as getting, uh, leaving the covers off of this for now. And I want to tell you, these onions, I put that in our salad last night, as sweet as can be. And the tops were just as delicious. Oh, it was so good. We had such a good dinner. So that's the start of my raised bed. So you guys, I'm going to ask you, what, what do you think I should plant in here? Now, our growing season just started. We passed our frost date a couple weeks ago. So I'm good to go on whatever I want to put in here, but um, I I need some help. What do you think? What should we put in here? You guys leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And I'm going to get back to work. Okay, so I got my bed put together and I went to the nursery and got um, soil for the garden bed and manure. And... I also got, uh, I went over to Walmart and got the fencing that I need for it because I was to totally out. And I hated to buy a whole roll, but you know, what do you do? I need the fencing to keep the dogs out. And while I was at the nursery and I asked the girl, Is, do you pronounce this Franke? And she said yes. So these are carrots. And all their stuff is um, GMO, non-GMO and um, heirloom type seeds. Um, good till 2017, but we know that most seeds will go past that. So we've got some more carrots. I really want that. And then these I found really interesting. I thought they were carrots at first. These are radishes. So we're going to try some of these while it's still, you know, somewhat mild temperatures. And then in their Baker Seed Department, they had this beautiful kale. And it's a scarlet kale. Mmm. And Nevada lettuce. Now, this is a heat tolerant lettuce. Um, I tr and it's non GMO organic. I tried a different brand. I think it was from Burpee. It never worked for me. So now, let's go out. I'll show you the 
the bed and I gotta bring a garbage bag with me for all the bags now. I only got four cubic, or no, I got 12 cubic feet, I guess. Is that right? Anyways, um, so I got four of those three cubic foot bales of garden soil. It's organic garden soil and one bag of manure, but I have another one over here. And they had this sitting in a bin and you can tell it's been weathered a little bit. It's not in perfect condition, but it was $2.50. I thought, I'll buy that. A nice little garden rake, fork, what do you, whatever you want it to be. And I still haven't decided what am I gonna plant in there. Oh my gosh, Linda, you gotta stop. <laughs> so I've got the girlies out together. Um, the boys are locked down in a bachelor pad. Uh, we don't want any, well, Trotsy isn't ready to be bred yet, but we want her to, um, she'll be bred to strut. So we have to take turns being out and running around. And Ragnar's gonna tell us he doesn't like it. No, no, Ragnar. Anyway. Okay, so here we go. There's the new garden bed. And let me just tell you, I hate moving those. And I had to pry almost all of them out with the digging bar because they'd settled into the dirt so much. But we have a new bed, a new garden bed. And um, I had just enough bricks to make it work. So all of these, I'll clean this all up and line this side with regular bricks. And um, same on the back side. I'll tell you the lifesaver, and I'm going to leave a link to these. Michael and I have said it over and over and over again. This dump wheelbarrow here has been absolutely, without a doubt, the best purchase we've purchased all year. Because <laughs> we could move all those bricks. I moved these from the other side. Um and it made the job way, way easier. So um, I'm gonna get busy and dump this dirt in here and get my garden bed started. Maybe some inspiration will come through. I know some of you had some ideas on Facebook, but none of them were what I really wanna do. I really want either something that we can um, eat and, and keep rotating this bed all summer and then turn it into a winter bed, or this may end up to be my garlic bed at the end of the day, because it's kind of hard to stick garlic and onions just anywhere, <laughs> even though I do. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's get to unloading that, and it's hot. So I'll just do as much as I can, go and get in the air conditioning, get a drink, hydrate, sit in the shade, and okay, so, for those of you that go to Costco, have you seen the big gazebo that they have? It's, um, I think it's made out of redwood and it has a metal roof on it. It's beautiful. It's like uh, 10 by 12, I think, or 10 by 14, 10 by 14, 12 by 14, something like that. And we're debating about it because we need shade. Uh, you know, we can't even enjoy our patios until late in the afternoon or evening. So. It would look really nice on our patio and we're thinking about getting it but we're not sure how hard it is to put together and whether Michael's up for that job. So if any of you have done it and you're happy with the results, leave a comment down below and let me know. It's a lot cheaper than building an awning because <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> okay guys, so it's actually turning out to be a beautiful evening because it's not blazing hot. We got little, I don't even know if you call them clouds, but oh, I gotta turn my radio down. Notice for antenna, we have a screwdriver. <laughs> Anyways, um, I got the big green egg smoking some chicken legs. Yummy. And I've got the girls out. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over before I start watering, go over what I did. And I got the raised bed done. I'm excited. It was fun. <laughs> it was a little bit of work, but I feel very accomplished. And thankfully, I think I bought just the right amount of soil because next year, you know, you're going to pull things out and then you're going to amend. So you don't want 
have it too low, but two bags of manure, four bags of garden soil in my new raised bed. And I can't see that direction, so I'm like, Wah. anyways, perfect sit down. I know Michael said, well, it's not level. I said, I know, I know, but it's mine. <laughs> I didn't have help, you guys. Anyway, so I'm going to get watering, close out the vlog, and say thank you, as always, for stopping by. And uh, I had a wonderful visit with Vicki over at um, oh, her brand new channel. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll post a link to her channel below. She came over. She won the Peep of the Month. And just because I kept seeing her name in my head over and over and over again when I was trying to think of who I should pick and it was because she always watches my videos and um, that was very apparent in our conversations and so I, I thought it fitting she won the first so she came and picked up her prize or whatever her gift and um, Shotzi's leaving me gifts at my feet I know you want me to throw it huh she said, well, yes, I do, Mommy. No, you don't need up on me. Anyway, so guys, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. And um, we'll go ahead and post whatever we got going on. Oh, my gosh, look at how pretty these petunias are. Hold on. Squirrel! <laughs> Squirrel! Look how pretty! Oh, I love these. These are beautiful. They're not... They're a real deep color in the center, and almost, they're not quite purple, but they're not quite fuchsia. They're beautiful. Anyway, so we're going to get planting and watering. And I think I'm going to put cucumbers out there. I've got cucumbers started. Mm. But I'm also going to put carrots. Can't have too many carrots in the garden. And then I don't know what I'm going to put, where I'm going to put these tomatoes that I planted. But these cucumbers... Once they get their second leaves, you know, these are just their seed leaves. Once they get their um, second leaves, they're obviously hardened off. Um, then I'll transplant them. And I'm going to put them on these ladder trellises. And they're kind of fun when you do it right. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, check the links below. I'm going to try to link that wheelbarrow, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Mm -hmm.